whether you're a developer, automation engineer, or DevOps engineer. If you're working on Java projects, then you definitely need Maven. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can configure Maven in Mac operating system. For some of you, it will be very basic topic, uh, but someone who is completely new to automation, completely new to this Maven world, for them it will be a little tricky task. So in this video, I will show you two different ways how you can configure Maven in Mac operating system. So basically, in uh, for Java projects, we have two build tools. One is Maven and one is Gradle. Now, in this video, we are talking about Maven. So whenever you have to create your Maven build, you need Maven binaries. So whether you say MVN clean, MVN test, MVN install, MVN deploy, you need Maven binary. So let me show you how you can get started. So I'm opening the terminal. Uh, but if you're using, uh, let's say, item or any other editor, you can continue. I'm using standard terminal which comes in Mac. Now, the moment I want to run a Maven commands, I will write MVN space the goal name. Let's say I want to run MVN clean. The moment I run this, it says ZSH command not found MVN. So basically, we have to configure Maven in this local system. So the first way which we are going to talk about is using brew. Now the moment you say brew, using brew you can install any particular package or particular software. We are going to use maven here. So I will say brew install maven. So if I show you brew, just type brew space hyphen hyphen help. So you can see we have a different commands for brew. Uh, you can use brew search, brew info, brew install, update, upgrade, uninstall list. For troubleshooting, they have a different commands for contributing and for further help. What we need is basically brew install. And you can give any formula or cask. What we need is maven. So I will say brew install maven. That's all. The moment you hit enter, it started downloading and now you can see we got the latest version of maven which is 3.9.6 yeah and this is the location slash opt homebrew seller then maven and this is the latest version whatever commands i'm uh, discussing right now i will be giving all this command in the description of this video or in the first comment of this video you can copy paste and continue in case if you don't have brew then I will show you the second approach as well, where you can navigate to Maven official website, extract the binary, then set the path. So once your brew command is done, what you can do, just do mvn space hyphen hyphen version. So it executed and it says Apache Maven 3.9.6. And you can see it is also giving us the home location, basically where the Maven is located. If you want to go ahead and check, you can copy this. And if I show you the exact space, I will click outside, go to folder. So this is the location where we have Maven. If you go to bin, you can see we have MVN. And uh, other things, these are the libraries we have. These are the con folder. You will also get settings.xml in case you want to change certain uh, settings for Maven, you can use this file. Now this is the first one using brew, very straightforward brew install Maven and now you can execute any Maven command. For example, let's say this is one of my project, okay. Uh, let's say this project. So if I want to build this particular project, first of all, I will go to the location. I will use CD. Let me clear everything. Now I'm inside this hybrid framework 2024 new folder. If I type ls, I can see I have a pom.xml file. Now it depends on the requirement, you can give any goal. Right now in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a Maven goal, but depends on you which goal you want to run. Suppose if I show you MVN clean. So this clean uh, goal, what it does, it deletes the target folder. So it started our Maven build and deleted the target folder and the build is successful. Okay, this is part one. 
now before i show you the part 2 i have to uninstall this because i already have maven now so just to show you the second part i am uninstalling the maven here but in your case if a maven is working please stop here and you can continue but in case if you want to try the second approach uh, first we will uninstall so command the same brew instead of install you will type uninstall and type maven and it is uninstalling at ha it has removed if you type again m in space hyphen hyphen version command not wrong yeah so it means maven has been uninstalled now let's move to the second part for this i need to download maven official uh, binary i will unzip or i will use uh, any archives software to unzip and then i can continue so let me open any browser now let's try so type apache maven download you will get their official site now once you come to this page you can see there are a couple of prerequisite system requirement maven 3.9 requires jdk 8 plus above so right now i have jdk 11 make sure you have 8 plus version so that you can continue with 3.9 at the time of recording this video, we have Apache version, uh, Maven version 3.9.6. Memory, no minimum requirement because it's a very small file. And uh, approximately 10 MB is required, which I guess everybody have. But recommended is have at least half GB of space. Now talking about which one to download for Mac and for Linux, you can go with this option, which is star.gz archive file. Click on this. Now it will ask you the location where you want to save this. I can select any folder. Let's keep it in the download itself. Now if you are someone who likes the commands, you can use unzip command or tar command. I can right click and directly uh, unzip this or I can use this archive utility to extract this. The moment you extract, you will get Apache Maven 3.9.6. And more or less these folders are same, which I showed you in the part one, right? Bin, boot, config and library. Now come here and type mvn space hyphen hyphen version. It is still saying command not found. Okay. Now in this approach, what you have to do, you have to set a path variable, which is maven underscore home. You can give m2 home as well, but the recommendation is maven underscore home. Now in order to set this, you have to run either two commands or you can go to zsshrc file and update it. I will show you. So first of all, I will type cd so that I will come to the main root directory, which is basically this particular username. Now if I type ls hyphen al, hyphen al whenever you want to see the hidden files. So this zsshrc uh, RC file that you can see, it's hidden file. So in order to list this, I executed ls hyphen al. Now I need to edit this file and I want to add environment variables. Generally in Windows, we call this environment variable. Let's call this as a path variable. Now how to edit this file? I use vi editor. So I'm typing vi, then the file name. So vi is the editor, which file space dot zsh rc file so it will bring this file content and right now we have all these path variables now you cannot edit this file you need to press i i means insert mode it means now you can start writing you can basically modify this file right now you can see we have certain export commands here right now i will export one maven underscore home variable will create this so type export maven underscore home it means now we will provide maven home directory the one which we downloaded now this is the path right i will press shift let's say one second 
why it's not giving path okay it's not giving me path so what i will do i will just say get info this is the location and the folder name is slash apache maven 3.9.6 this is the home directory where maven we have downloaded downloaded and extracted once we are done we need to add this to a path variable and we need to give the path till bin so if you open this we have a bin folder right inside bin you will find mvn so this is the path which we need to set so once you are done with this come to the last type export again you can give path equal to dollar and you can give this path variable which is maven underscore home so basically it will refer this location users mukesh 20 download and the folder name slash bin because we want to reach till this folder colon dollar path only two uh, changes we have done one is maven underscore home give the home directory then come to the last uh, then path refer to the maven home directory slash bin and append to the path variable now very important in order to save these changes press escape from the keyboard colon w q first press escape then press colon w q and once you are done hit enter now if you again go and check rc yes we have maven underscore home and we have appended to the path variable now if you type uh, mvn space hyphen hyphen version okay it's still not printing because we have to reload this file so type source dot zsh rc and now type maven space hyphen hyphen version so what happens guys once you update this file you need to reload this so i executed one command called source and i mod uh, provided the file name which is dot zsh rc file the moment you hit enter file will be reloaded now when i say mvn space hyphen hyphen version we got version 3.9.6 and this is the path now you're free you can use any maven goal so if i type mvn clean now obviously this goal will fail because in order to run this goal it will look for perm.xml file which we don't have in this location but you can see it started building and the build is getting failed so i hope uh, this is done i will quickly repeat the process one was brew install maven that's all in order to run brew make sure you have homebrew command in case the first option doesn't work come to the second option there you download the uh, tar.gz uh, file unzip it after unzipping open zsh rc file using vi editor add maven underscore home then go till bin folder and append this path to the path variable now the last part if you want to check where is maven underscore home echo space dollar and the path variable that we have set which is maven underscore home and it is giving us the location so i hope this was useful please give it a try if you face any issue please let me know in the comment section and whatever things i had discussed here i will put this in a description or in the first comment if with this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleague who are struggling to set maven and uh, if any other requests, let me know in the comment section. I will try to make another video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.